at all times and on every occasion. I will bless and praise my Lord. The song of His praise will continuously be in my heart. My soul will boast of my Lord, and those bowed before Him in worship will hear, rejoice, and be merry. With me, praise and honor our Lord. Together, let us speak highly of His name. I sought my Lord in prayer, and He answered me, and from all my objects of dread He has delivered me. Those with me have looked confidently to Him, and they shine forth with joy. They are radiant, and they are not ashamed. This afflicted man cried out, and his Lord heard. And from all of his distress, his Lord has saved him. The angel of our Lord encamps as a guard, encircling those who revere and honor him, and he will rescue them. Perceive by experience and understand that our Lord is good. Happy is the one who will take refuge in Him. You holy ones of the Lord, honor your Lord, for those honoring Him lack nothing, even young lions are often food poor and hungry, but those who are worshipfully seeking our Lord in prayer will not lack any truly good thing. Come, children, listen to me, and I will teach you the religion of our Lord. Who is the man who desires life, who loves the days, so that he may get to know what is good? You? Then guard your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn aside from evil and do good. Aim at and practice peace. Pursue it. The eyes of our Lord are turned towards the righteous, the innocent. The ears of our Lord towards their cries for help. But the face of our Lord is turned against those who do evil. They will be forgotten as he causes even the memory of them to perish from the earth. The righteous cry out for help, and our Lord hears, and He delivers them from all their distress. Our Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and He rescues the crushed in spirit. The deprivations of the righteous are many, but our Lord will deliver him from them all. He is protecting all of his bones. Not one of them has been broken. Evil will slay the wicked, the guilty, and those hating the innocent will suffer for their own guilt. But our Lord ransoms the life of his servants from this evil. All those taking refuge in him will have no guilt 
from which to suffer.